Kid Venture crew. Welcome to Kid Venture this morning. I'm so glad you were here today and able to make it. I'm Deadhead Ed. First mate. Well, a mate on this crew anyway. And in the month of December, we have been in a new location. Remember what it is? It's Christmas Cove. That's right. This is where we're discovering a wonderful and magical Christmas really is. Well, let's talk about what we've seen so far. We saw that God was planning a party for who? Jesus, that's right. And he used certain people to show how he was planning this party in advance. So who told about it way ahead of time? That's right, the prophets, the prophets. The prophets were people who gave messages from God. Do you remember how many years before Jesus, they started talking about Jesus? 700 years? That's a long time. Wow, that's amazing. God really planned this party in advance, didn't he? Yeah. Jesus it was so important that he split our calendar in two, right? All the years before Jesus are called B.C., before Christ. After All the years after Jesus are called Anno Domino, which means after Jesus. The year of our Lord, right? That was the Anno Domino, is the year of our Lord. So all the ones after him, means Jesus is come. So here in 2020 AD, we're about 2,020 years after Jesus was born. And we've been celebrating Jesus' birthday for a long time, haven't we? That's 2,020 years. Next, we saw how God prepared for Jesus' party by sending out invitations. Remember how we saw God sent our mailman with special invitations? And who were the mailmen really? Angels, you're right, angels. Who did he send the angels to? You got it right, yep. He sent them to Mary and Joseph and the shepherds out in the fields. And he didn't let them know what was happening they would have been totally lost, right? God was really good about that. God also sent out one other kind of invitation. Do you remember what it was? Yep, you're right, it was a star. It was a special star to the wise men. Other people might have seen a really bright star in the sky, but these guys knew what it meant. These guys study the stars and knew it meant something special that a new king was born. So what did they do? Well, they packed up some presents and started on a very long journey to a party. That's so cool. Now today, it's just about time for the party, but someone is gonna try to mess it up. Have you ever heard of the Grinch? Polly, have you heard of the Grinch? <laughs> okay, well, there was a real Grinch, and he wasn't green, but he did try to spoil and stop Christmas from coming. I can't wait to hear about it. But for now, let's get ready for some really good praise time. Everybody say, let's do this. Let's do this. 
everybody, it's Christmas time, so we thought we would do some Christmas carols, starting out with Come All Ye Faithful. Please join us and sing along. Christmas, Kid Venture crew. At Christmas Cove, we've been working on Christmas memory verse, Luke 1, 69, 70. I'll read it and then you fill in the blanks. Luke 1, 69 and 70. He sent us a mighty Savior from the royal land of, just as he had promised, through his holy prophets long ago. Let's take out a few more. Luke 1, 69 and 70. He has sent us a mighty Savior from the royal line of David, just as he promised through his holy prophets long ago. Christ say our purpose statement. We exist to reach kids for Christ. We include them in their family. We grow closer to God. We serve others with our hearts and we praise God with our lives. Great job shipmates. See you next time. Hey Kid Venture, welcome back. We got another Christmas song and it's about three wise men and it's called We Three Kings. Let's do this. We three kings of Orient are Bearing gifts we traverse afar Field and fountain, moor and mountain Following yonder star Oh, star of wonder, star of night Star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Born a king on Bethlehem's plain, gold I bring to crown him again. 
king forever, ceasing never, over us all to reign. Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star of royal beauty bright, westward leading still proceed guide us to thy perfect light glorious now behold him arise king and god in sacrifice alleluia alleluia earth to heaven replies Oh, star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Good job! Woo! Good morning, everybody. I'm Pirate Pam. Wow, it's almost Christmas time. I am so excited. Jesus' birthday is almost here. I love to see the decorated houses, the lights, and the yummy food. We are less than a week away. This is going to be so good. Did you know that someone tried to stop Christmas from coming? He nearly succeeded. Today, I'm going to share a poem about the Grinch who nearly stole Christmas but it's probably not the Grinch you're thinking of. Would you like to hear it? Okay, settle back and listen to this true life story. It's called The Grinch Who Nearly Stole Christmas by Troy McDaniel. Once there was a king who lived long ago. His name was King Herod. He tried stealing Christmas, you know. The story began one fateful night when angels appeared giving shepherds a fright. Peace unto you, do not be in fear. We bring you good news, the Savior is here. And there in a stable, as angels had told, baby Jesus in a manger a few hours old. High in the sky, God appointed a star to shine very brightly, to shine from afar. In the east were some wise men who were watching the sky. They said, this is it, a sign from on high. A new king has been born. We must travel and see. We're not sure just how many, but probably three. So they left on their journey. They traveled by night. The star went before them as their guiding light. To Jerusalem they went, for they wanted to know how to find this new king. They had a party to throw. They asked, where's the new king? As they entered the city, and this is where the story doesn't get very pretty. Their clothes were quite different and their accent was funny, but no one dared laugh when they pulled out their money. Well, it didn't take long before the Grinch heard the news. He jumped from his throne and came out of his shoes. A new king of Judea, how can this be? For I am the king, no one but me, 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 me. He slumped on his throne and was ready to pout, but there was really so much that he had to find out. Bring in the priests and bring in the scribes. I need to have answers without any lies. Your Highness, the Messiah will be born. This is true in Bethlehem as promised in Micah 5.2. The Grinch kind of snickered as he thought of his trick. He said, bring the wise men to me and get them here quick. He said, welcome, my friends. You've come from the east. You must be very wary. Won't you come to my feast? They said, thanks for your kindness, but our journey's not through. We're searching for a new king. Perhaps you saw his star too. A new king, did you say? What a pleasant surprise. And you follow the star? You must be quite wise. When did you see the star in the sky? The wise men just told him they didn't ask why. Perhaps you'll permit me to share information. The little town of Bethlehem may be his location. 
Just do me this favor. If you find the new king of the Jews, come tell me about him, so I may worship him too. The Grinch kind of chuckled as they passed through the gate. There was no need to follow. He would just have to wait. The wise men left for Bethlehem without a delay. The star went before them, guiding their way. So they arrived at the house where Jesus was staying. They found him with Mary on the floor playing. The wise men were humbled as they got on their knees. Your son is quite special. Will you please accept these? Then out of their sacks lined with velvet and fur, they gave gifts of pure gold, frankincense, and of myrrh. That night in a dream, God gave them a warning. Don't return to King Herod when you leave in the morning. When the old Grinch found out that he had been had, he was red as a beet. He was madder than mad. They think they're quite clever, not stopping back by. I'll just go to plan B, which means more kids will die. Then he stood from his throne and announced his foul play. Go to Bethlehem now and wipe out every boy. Your Highness, you know we'll do as we're told, but are you sure every boy? Can you tell us how old? Wait, that's right. I don't need to blunder. Just take all the boys that are two years and younger. But the Grinch didn't know that God knew his big scheme. He sent angels to Joseph to warn him in dreams. He told Mary, get up, we must leave right away. The soldiers are coming, the children to slay. She scooped up her baby and held him so tight. They packed a few things and left in the night. Hoofs, beats, and shouting. Soldiers beat on each door, taking children from mothers who couldn't take any more. The soldiers returned. The deed was now done. The Grinch was relieved. He thought he had won. But Jesus escaped because God had a plan. The baby grew up. He grew to a man. He gave up his life to save us from sin. And nothing could stop him, not even the Grinch or his men. So when you consider the story of Christmas we've told, remember wise men still seek him as their Savior and Lord. Just one final thought before we are through. You know, Satan is trying to steal Christmas too. But when you have Jesus, he'll never depart. And you'll always have Christmas alive in your heart. The end. Wasn't that a great story? And it's totally true. If you want to read it yourself, it's in Matthew chapter 2. Oh no, it can't be. Now I'm talking in rhyme. We better go to prayer and end our lesson time. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this lesson today. We thank you for the gift of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Please help us to remember the true meaning of Christmas. And thank you, Lord, for bringing us all here today and hearing this great message. In your name we pray. Amen. Arr, thanks for joining us today at Kidventure. And have a Merry Christmas from all of us here at the Kidventure leaders and crew. We hope you have a wonderful time. But remember, the true meaning of Christmas is about Jesus. We'll see you here next week where we talk about the after party. Ha ha, that's going to be great. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.